Welcome to the herbarium. Thank you. We have the same archive. Really? The same. We have 8 million specimens. Every year we get some more because it's very important for us to keep on documenting not only some new species that are discovered and described every year, but also the way the flora is evolving. We don't describe plants out of living plants. We describe plants out of herbarium specimens. And so we would check the specimens that we brought back from the field, describe the species in the most accurate way. Sometimes you need to fold, sometimes you need to cut. We keep every plant from the baobab tree to the smallest flowering plant in the world that we call lentido. Each dot is a plant. This one is Papaver somniferum. And you see that like in the document you sent is a little remember funkier. remember the style that we have in Mediterranean area. Yeah. And also that we are lost in icy west so that in the past. Uh, but you can work for maintain it for the future some uh, plants or not? In order to preserve and to, and to keep this biodiversity, we first need to identify it. Today we really go into areas of the world where the wild plants are threatened and it's very important for us to do that now because the clock is ticking, you know, and we really need to go as fast as possible before it's gone. Only 10 to 15 percent of the living world around us has been described. We need to describe so many more because we depend on this living world to thrive and to maintain our species on the planet. And so it's great to go on the moon, there's a lot to do on Mars, but first thing is to work on our little Earth, because most of the work has to be done and has not been done yet. Mm -hmm.